Did you ever think that we would be in a typhoon? No. Nope. We're in a typhoon. And this is just the start of the wind. Woo. It's barely even going yet. What's going on guys? So right now we are on location in Japan. It is our last day. We're in a hotel uh, about 12 hours away from going to the airport and right outside the window, Typhoon Trami is about to hit. I've never been part of a typhoon before. Obviously we have hurricanes in the United States uh, and the rain is really starting to come down. The first band is about to hit. What I thought might be cool is if something crazy happens, we might as well document it throughout the course of the day. So you'll be seeing myself, Mark and Mario all show up on camera to get random clips on the GoPro as the storm hits. 10 stories up and the rain is coming down. All right, here, get in the car. Woo. That's rainy. We went. Ah. Woo. All right guys, so this is Richard, our brave guide who has agreed to take us out as the typhoon is hitting. But well, we're definitely gonna get some shots as it's running right into Mount Dyson. So stay tuned guys, it's about to get intense. Definitely gonna have to vlog this. We're walking around outside right now in this really cool world of weird stick built houses in the middle of a typhoon. Well actually it's just the start of the typhoon but it's still pretty crazy to be out here in this. Lots of heavy water, check that out. The ground is beginning to flood and the sky is just completely one solid color in every direction. This is bizarre. Look at this. It's flooded. It's just a little stick hut underground. You could hunker down in here and ride out the storm. Look at that. What's going on? Uh, we're in a typhoon, but we're also exploring this really cool compound of this guy who actually built stuff out of wood. Weathering out the typhoon in style. This is super cool. Such amazing art in here. All made from real wood. This may be one of the coolest galleries I have ever been in. Looks like a fossil. It's probably the uh, end of an ankylosaur's tail. Such a cool location we're exploring right now. Rain's still coming down. What did you catch in the typhoon? It's a little Japanese green tree frog. Wow, hey buddy, he's tiny. He's gonna get swept away. Gotta save him. Oh, he's on my hand. Hey, I'll bring him over here in the grasses. Gotta be careful, little buddy. It's a big typhoon coming through. Hop out there under those. There you go. I'm much safer there than out here in the weather. All right, guys, well, the ocean is right out here. Uh, the rain and the wind is not too, too crazy bad yet, but we've driven down to the bottom of Mount Dyson. See the statue right here? That's a defender of the island. This is the base of the mountain. And as the storm comes in, it's gonna hit this spot and then wrap its way around the outside of the mountain. We're gonna be right in the middle. All right, let's have access to the car before we get soaked. Did you ever think that we would be in a typhoon? No, nope. we're in a typhoon. And this is just the start of the wind. Woo. It's barely even going yet. Well, Woo. the ocean is right out there. Yep. We thought maybe we could run down to the edge of it, but it's actually a lot further away than it looks. Those waves are rising over there, you see that? Yeah, probably tough to see on the GoPro, but it is getting crazy. All right, let's run back. So, we drove down to the coast. It's pretty crazy. The beach is completely flooded out. Check this out. And the winds are crazy. Oh, man. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like when it actually makes landfall. Oh, that rain is stinging my face. All right, this is the farthest point I can go. Check this out. It's 
crazy down there. Right. Absolutely crazy. All right, got the shot. Yeah. So we just found out they've actually closed down the highways because they're beginning to flood. So all these vehicles are now being rerouted. The traffic's crazy right now. We're trying to get back to the hotel. Uh, but the streets are full of cars because the water's rising so quickly. The wind has actually cut down just a touch, but if you just look at these flats, they are ripping. Look at those walls of water. It's pure typhoonic insanity. Look at that. That's all the water coming down the side of the mountain right now. It's so powerful, it's just shooting out of the ground from these drains. All right, we're heading up higher into the hills and back to our hotel, but I just had to get a shot of that. Look at this. That's like a shoot slide right there. Uh-oh, I'm locked out. Hey, let me in the car. Okay, we made it back to the hotel. And now we're gonna head up to the 10th floor and continue getting some shots. Definitely gonna be safer indoors at this point. We are just about to meet up with the eye wall of the storm. All right, guys, we are headed back up to the 10th floor. Definitely have to be indoors at this point, but we're gonna to try to film it from our bedroom windows. We'll have Mount Dyson in the background, although you won't see it because of the storm, uh, but it'll still be pretty cool. Riding out Typhoon Trami here in Japan. Here we go. So this, is Mario's room and it is where Trent is getting ready to film some intravolometer shots. What are you doing right now? Getting some audio? Yeah, just picking up some uh, rain audio and some rain hitting the window. It sounds really intense to the microphone here. Yeah, it's cool because we've got a uh, opening right here in the window. Mario, what are you focusing on? Um, you know, this is uh, base camp right now for the typhoon, so I'm making sure that we have plenty of snacks ready ah, to go. Yes. Um, in case power goes off or something, um, you know, I'm gonna keep you guys nice and fed. This is Mario candy? Mario candy. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, so the eye of the storm wall is about to hit us and I'm gonna go out and film it because I know there's a spot I can go to that nothing's gonna fall down on me. You guys are gonna watch this video and say, Coyote, you should have taken us out into the eye of the storm. So I'm gonna do it. All right, here we go. I'm going around the back of the building to this area where Trent and Mario are gonna be able to film me. I'm gonna get soaking wet doing this in between gusts of wind right now, but I have a feeling it's gonna get pretty crazy. All right, hold on, here we go. Here we are. Woo! We are about to breach through the main wall of the storm. Let's see where the guy's at. All right, I'm signaling that to get that camera going. And right now, I am in the middle of the storm. Now, of course, down near the coast, it's a lot worse. We're pretty high up right now at the base of the mountain. But I do have to say, you never come outside during a massive storm like this. I feel pretty safe. There's no thunder, there's no lightning, so I have no chance of being, you know, struck by lightning. I'm in a pretty open area, so there's no real chance of any branches or debris falling on me. This has been pretty crazy. On location here in Japan, getting to experience our first typhoon. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. Woo! All right, guys, I'm stoked. It's time to go back inside. Once the eye of Trami passed over Mount Dyson, the torrential rain and wind continued to pound a path over the landscape as it steadily traveled on its northeasterly course. At points, the wind reached speeds of 100 miles per hour, causing structural damage to buildings and the heavy rainfall caused flooding in several areas. Yet by sunrise, the storm had passed, revealing the towering beauty of Mount Dyson. For myself and the Brave Wilderness team, riding out a typhoon was a wild experience, and it certainly sparked our interest 
and documenting more natural weather events in the future. Do you want to become an official member of the Coyote Pack? If so, make sure to pick up your starter kit, which includes the iconic pack tag, adventure guide, and of course, the one and only Brave Crew Bracelet. The Coyote Pack Starter Kit is the best way to show the world that you are one of the pack, and it's available right now. If you enjoyed this on location adventure, make sure to go back and watch as we kayak to Fort Gorges to explore its abandoned buildings. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure.